you know, you talked about how hard you've been working. You know, we we've we've been following your career for for some years now. Um, and I, I'm actually I, I was so happy to see you at at the garden um, because you know last even when last time we spoke when you came on the show we were talking about the Olympics and being the alternate and whatnot and then now you get ready to go to to try again COVID happens and then that doesn't yeah. happen just talk to me about about the the that whole process and talk to me about your mental uh, state dealing with that because I know that can be rough when you kind of put your all into getting ready to go to the Olympics and then that doesn't happen, you know, just, so just talk to me about that. Yeah, man, it was kind of, it was really challenging, honestly, cause I'm a positive guy. I can, uh, you know, I'm mostly like, you know, I like to stay optimistic about certain things, you know, especially when it's something that, you know, pertains to my career. So, uh, it was always like, you know, just, you know, just keep working, keep working, keep working. Even every door that closed in my face, uh, you know, from, uh, qualifying for the 2020 Olympic team. And then I couldn't even qualify because the qualifiers got uh, canceled because of the pandemic. And then back it down and then into 2021, early 2021, trying to do the qualifications again, that got canceled again because of an outbreak in Argentina. So, and then, you know, me turning pro and then supposed to fight in July, originally for the Tyson Fury Wilder 3 um, undercard, but that got postponed to October. So it was just like really, really hard that I had to learn how to just swallow all of that, to be honest, and deal with it. Because it was, boxing always taught me how to, you know, whatever you deserve, whatever you win or lose, it's on you. And you, I can always kind of control that factor with all of this, I can't control nothing. That kind of bugged me out a little bit, especially when the Olympics came, man. Like, mind you, when the Olympics came, the postponement, the first po the postponement, the first time of the Tyson Fury Wilder card, you know, that happened. So it was just like, I was literally sitting at home. I didn't have my first pro fight yet now. And now I'm watching the Olympics. I'm like literally tearing up, man. It was like, it was cool to see all my friends, you know, do their thing. And, you know, we got a few medals and stuff like that. But, you know, it was kind of a bittersweet moment, you know, watching that because it's like, man, like I, I, I did everything that I was supposed to do to be there. And, you know, that was stripped away from me. And now I'm pro and my first fight that was supposed to be under a big undercard, that got postponed. And I'm not even sure if I'm still going to fight on that. So that's how my mind was working around that time. But luckily, I still was able to remain on that Wilder Fury card. And ever since, you know, I got on that first card, uh, performed. I got a lot of people watching me, and then you know, I just you know took the. I just hit the ground running after that. Yeah, and, and, and you know, I remember when you when you told me you was gonna be on the on on that undercard too. So you know, you, the Olympics might not have worked out, but you know, you definitely been been getting a lot of blessings coming your way. Yes, definitely, definitely. God has definitely been blessing me in different ways. You know, what I'm saying I, I always thought that, you know, God always put the like his chosen like you know god always put a uh, pick certain people you know to put through certain hardships because he know that they can handle it yeah. but you know the, the you know that specific person has to have faith to know that you know there's like you know light at the end of the tunnel you know what i'm saying so i just even though it was hard it was difficult i just you know i remained you know disciplined and i made sure that you know i just stick to the game plan and things are finally starting to come together now, as all that was going on, and obviously hindsight is twenty twenty, mm -hmm. was there ever a moment where you said, man, I wish I would have just turned pro as opposed to chasing, chasing the Olympic dream and then everything getting derailed that way? Oh, uh, nah, nah. Like, I honestly wanted to, I honestly was, uh, even when they were telling us, like, all, oh, because they, they kind of briefed me and a few other guys that, was, that went through the same thing that I did and being, you know, get, getting off the team they kind of briefed us and letting us know like, yo, like this might happen. Like you guys might not be able to go to Tokyo. So it was kind of like, but they also was like, yo, we're going to fight for you guys. Let us know if you want to keep, you know, want us to keep fighting for you and this, that, and third. And I was wanting to ride it to the wheels fall off, to be honest. Like, I was just like, nah, like, you know, like if y'all, you can let me go to the Olympics, you can work, me to get to, you can work to get to the Olympics. Let's do it because I ain't pulled this hard work in for nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, 
I honestly could have turned pro back in 2016 because I was the Olympic alternate for the uh, Olympics um, back then. And, you know, I, I was 19 at the time. I, but there's a lot of young guys that turned pro at 17, 18, 19. But it was something that I'm, I, I, I stayed humble and I was grounded. And, you know, I was true to myself. I knew that I didn't have enough international experience or just experience as a whole. My, men, my mental stability wasn't as strong as it is now you know I have my man strength now and you know my IQ is like 10 times you know better than it was back then so it was a lot of things that I put into perspective you know I mean at that you know back when I was 19 and I decided to say uh, an extra four years and there was no no uh second guesses no second thoughts of about turning pro or anything like that there's a lot of people that wanted to you know, tell me that they turn pro, like a lot of trainers and stuff like that. Oh, you should turn pro. Blah, blah, blah. You're wasting your time. This, that, and the third. But no, nah, like all of that, I was learning so much. Like I was getting so much experience and meeting all these new people. And you know, like I wouldn't change anything for the world, even though I didn't wasn't able to go for the go to the Olympics. Like the experience that I had changed me into the fighter I'm today. Well, something better is definitely gonna be on the horizon soon, and it's gonna, it's yeah. gonna be something that you wrap around your waist, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, 